Hi, so let us today understand what the Spearman's two factor theory of intelligence. Now Spearman in 1904 came up with his theory, okay. this was the first factor analytical theory which was proposed and it is very important considering all the theories which came after this were based on this theory. Okay. Now what does Spearman propose is different abilities a person poses are due to the presence of different factors basically two factors that is S factor and the G factor. G means the general factor, S means the specific factor. Now to understand these two factors, we will take an example. Now suppose we need to check a numerical ability of a person. Now how do we check a numerical ability of a person? Uh, suppose we give him a questionnaire, a questionnaire which contains max word problems. Now how do we check whether the person is good in numerical abilities or not? He should be good in English to understand the word problem as well as he should be good in calculations, right. So if he has both these abilities then he can score higher in the numerical ability, right. So these are through two factors which are required. Now if we consider another ability that is verbal ability of the same person, now what, the, what are the things required for a person to be good in verbal activity is he should be good in English as well as he should be able to express himself very well, right. So if he is good in English, he is able to express himself very well, he is good in verbal ability. Now there are two different abilities or I can say two different intelligences which require a common factor that is being good in English. So that is called as the G factor, okay. So a person to be good in numerical ability requires a G factor good in English and requires a specific factor good at calculations. So he will score higher in the numerical ability. So this is what the theory proposed. Now studies went on different type of intelligence were tested and finally the complete theory looks something like this. Okay? This is the complete G factor which is responsible for different type of intelligences. But every intelligence required different amount of G factor. For example, you can see this intelligence A required a smaller amount of G factor. Whereas C intelligence required a larger amount of G factor, right. There are few intelligences which do not require G factor. So there are different type of intelligence which require different amounts of G factors. And also there is another important concept which came up that suppose we, our previous example which contains numerical as well as verbal ability. Apart from the G factor, they also require another factor which is common but not common to the other intelligences and such factors were placed in between, right. For example, the ability of mental speed was required for both the activities but it does not, it is not required for the other activities, right. That correlation came up there outside the G factor but common between them. So this is what was Spearman's two factor theory of intelligence. Many other theories which came after this were completely based on this. They found out new factors, new responsible factors, but the concept of G factor was the main thing which was very important in the other theories as well.